How to fix bad range on your DJI Mini 3 Pro with the DJI RC. In the past, I have shown you how you could basically switch your CE drone into FCC mode if you run into range issues flying in Wi-Fi polluted areas. The technique there was pretty simple. It was simply to fake the GPS position, making the drone think it was in a different region where FCC is enabled per default. Many of you have reported back to me that this technique is no longer working. The reason why this fixes bad range is because the broadcasting power that is allowed under the FCC is much higher than under CE. So when the guy behind Drone Tweaks reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test his solution, of course I said yes, as I wanted to test if it is so as easy as he claims to enable it. So if we take a look at the, the website, you would see that the drones that are supported is actually the full range from DJI, from the Mini 4 Pro, Mini 3 Pro, Mini 3, Mavic 3, and the Air 3, Avata, Mavic 3 Classic, Air 2S, Mavic 3 Pro, SE, DJI FPV, and the Mini 2. So that's actually the full range of drones. It works with the standard controller, but now also with the smart controller, which is very, very exciting. As many of you have reported the uh, yeah, unstable connection between the first version of the smart controller and drones like uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So let's see if we can make it work and switch the DJI Mini 3 Pro into FCC mode. Later in the video, I will show you how you can see the difference. And in case that you want to test it out yourself, the drone tweaks have provided me with a link that I'll be sharing in the, the description below so you can pick up your own FCC mod and test it out for yourself. And you know, the coolest part is that it does not only work with the standard controller, it does also work with the DJI RC and also the RC2. I promised Florian from uh, Drone Tweaks to mention that uh, the, you will have additional improvements by using the standard controller, like 120 meter limit removal, autonomous missions, 50 meter tracking limit removal, LED controls, etc. Even though we are doing this for Android, that it's not yet available for all phones supporting Android 14. Some will work and some will not. And if you want better coverage of all the devices and controllers, use the smart controller together with the, the Android devices and the standard controller together with the iOS. He's a super cool guy and ready to help. So I'm pretty sure that he will be watching the comments for this video. So if you have some questions specifically to this, then make sure to drop them below. Further, you can see three products have been offered. There's an FCC mod for the DJI Fly app for iOS. There is a FCC mod for the DJI Fly app for Android. And there's a FCC AirSense mod for DJI Air 2S for iOS. I don't know what the last one is. Maybe we could take a closer look at that one later. What it's all about is uh, these two, the one for iOS and the one for Android. And you only need to buy one license and you can apply it to all your drones. But you do have to decide whether it's iOS or Android. And in this video, I will demonstrate it for iOS. Once you get everything installed, the procedure is exactly the same. So why would you use drone tweaks? If we look at the FAQ section, the argument is first and foremost, there are no changes to the drone itself. This means no risk of affecting the drone's firmware or flight controller, no risk of losing the care refresh insurance. Third party apps do not invalidate the care refresh like modifying the drone's firmware does. So that's of course a very, very important point that uh, this is a separate app that you are installing that makes the change. And in this way, you're not touching the firmware that's actually running on the drone. So how does it actually work? Yeah, it works in a way that you need to get a separate app that's called FCC DJI Fly app. And according to Drone Tweaks, this is a modified version of the official app. You would use exactly the same way you use the official app. You will log in with the same DJI account, but you will always remain in FCC mode. So this is the reason why I have two apps installed here. The official uh, DJI Fly app and the modified version from uh, yeah, Drone Tweaks. To be able to get that onto uh, your smartphone, 
The process is a little bit more cumbersome than if you're using Android. You need to basically have a signed app to, uh, to be able to install it. There's a very good description on uh, the Drone Tricks website that shows exactly how this procedure is done. You should basically get hold of the UUID of uh, the iOS device and that needs to be sent back to Drone Tweaks that will make sure that your product is being registered in uh, the Apple ecosystem and then you'll be provided with a login that will allow you to sign and trust the app and thereby install it. At least that's how I understand how it works. The documentation on the website is actually pretty good for this so uh, no need for me to cover this. I already have the app installed on the device. So you can see if I launch the app, it will basically come up and tell us that FCC mode is enabled, fly with caution. By using this application, you acknowledge that you received special permission to increase the transmission power and assume full reliability for any potential legal ramifications. This is of course, the disclaimer from Grown Tweaks and me if you decide to use this application. And right now I could basically take this application and then plug it into the RCN1, the old controller where the smartphone is put on top and then I will be able to go out and fly with the drone and it will be in FCC mode. If I want to fly it in CE mode, I just need to use the official app from DJI. So that's pretty simple. If we're going to use the DJI RC in FCC mode, there are a few steps that we need to do involving the phone before we can switch it into FCC mode. This operation needs to be repeated before every flight. And there's a video tutorial on the website that will show you exactly how this operation is done. But let me show you how it works in real life and how you establish the, if the drone is in FCC or non-FCC mode. So now let's go outside and see if we can flick it into FCC mode. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to launch the app. So right now that is launched and we are saying OK. And then that needs to run in the background. So right now we need to wait for the home point to update. I had to move the table out so I could get a clear view of the sky so we could get an updated home point. And we go under the three dots in the upper right corner, transmission. You can see that the minus 90 dB line is close to one kilometers, which means that it's in CE mode. Let's just start the drone, make sure the home point is updated. So now the home point is updated. So just land it again. So now the home point is updated. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to start the official app. So let's see if we can switch it. So the way we do this is that we go to quick transfer here on the regular app from DJI. Then it says join. We're waiting for it to join. Yes, and then we're switching to the FCC app. Quick transfer. Here, so it's switching and then it closes off this one on the smart controller. And then what we need to do now is we need to exit quick transfer mode like this. And if we jump in under the transmission tab, you would see that it changed. Did you see it changed? So now the drone is in FCC mode. And if I take away the phone and reboot everything, and all the apps are closed here on the phone, I took that one away after I've started the screen recorder.
you would see in a second. Go under the three dots, transmission, you see that it's back in C mode. So, now you've got a demonstration that it works. It's actually pretty easy to switch the drone in and out of uh, FCC mode using the mod from Drone Tweaks. And if you want to test this out by yourself, then there is a purchase link in the description below. If there's any other questions or any other tests that you would like me to do, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a, a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. But you should basically get hold of the U, the U. You should basically get hold of the UUID and assume full runs and assume full reliable. Right now, I could basically plug the and right now you I could basically slam okay and right now I could basically take this. I can do this. I can do this. What the fuck, man? Even the buying no storage issues.